profit returns like in in some shape or form like in the 11th hour um, so all that plays together very well we're also pushing the, the theme of being a hunter a lot both in multiplayer and single player you know with the bow and you being this super advanced predator in a way in this jungle equipped with this bow and that's something that we pushed also through the visuals you know we wanted to make sure that you were given an environment where that would support the sensation of being a hunter uh, and in multiplayer we have this mode called hunter also which is an asymmetrical uh, kind of face off between cell and then these hunters two hunters a larger number of cell guys um, and then you know you need to take out each of these cell guys one by one but when they die they respawn as the hunters so if you can make it to the end of a round and survive as that last hunter uh, uh, last cell trooper who is certainly going to be underpowered compared to who's what's against him well you will reap a lot of, of benefits and it's very interesting mode because uh, Cheba previously called it an emotional roller coaster, and I think that's a really good name for it because you're a little bit to some extent matched out in the beginning with two versus ten because you're powerful because you can cloak uh, so two is actually quite powerful but at the end uh, even if you get shot early on you have another chance as a hunter to kind of take your your vengeance and get a, a good reward still right so if you're maybe not that experienced the multiplayer you're going to find it quite forgiving but if you are very experienced you're going to find it very difficult to be the last man standing as well and that makes it really interesting so that creates this kind of consistency between what we're pushing in the single player campaign and in the multiplayer campaign so even though they don't tie into each other like directly they totally make sense and they contextually make sense in in the game uh, the thing to to uh, bear in mind with this is that it's a kind of mode where you know the more time you spend with it and the more you kind of sit in the privacy of your own home and figure out how to do this the more rewarding it's going to be in the beginning you know people start maybe camping a little bit because it's on time but then as soon as the people start knowing the map suddenly that strategy is not going to work anymore and you're being forced to just being really good at the game and playing together as a team and that te those team members might actually become your enemy 30 seconds later and then you 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 have maybe seen how certain players play and you go like I remember this guy always runs there and then boom you can still go over and hunt him there right so it's it's really interesting like that and and it's also very fast paced I mean the rounds are two minutes there are multiple rounds um, so it's also about being really quick you know mm. and uh, yeah it's cool it's a lot of fun for me it's a really good multiplayer mode because I'm not that good of a multiplayer so uh, I need a I need a, a mode where I have multiple ways to win because otherwise I will you know I'll just get owned and then it's no, no fun right so um, yeah, I like it. It's very good. And uh, uh, it's also kind of a, a thing you can tie a story around almost, right? Because being like, if you, I don't know if you saw a trailer for the Hunter mode back in at Gamescom. And it's like, like that last man standing being like with throwing EMPs right and left to find all these hunters hunting him. It's a super tense moment. And if you have like s five seconds left on the counter and that's all you need to survive, they will feel like 30 seconds when you're out there and everybody's after you, right? So yeah, it's cool.